Ever wondered how metronidazole works in our body? Today, we're diving into the world of this fascinating medication, unraveling the mysteries of its pharmacology. Imagine metronidazole as a stealthy warrior, sent into battle to defend our body against harmful invaders. It's a powerful antibiotic used primarily to treat bacterial and protozoal infections. This includes conditions like bacterial vaginosis, pelvic inflammatory disease, and infections caused by anaerobic bacteria, the type that don't need oxygen to survive. It's also used to treat certain infections of the gut, skin, and mouth, and to prevent infections following surgery. Quite versatile, wouldn't you say? Now let's delve into how metronidazole actually works. Its mechanism of action is quite intriguing. Once inside the body, metronidazole gets absorbed into the bloodstream, making its way to the bacteria or protozoa it's meant to destroy. Here's where things get interesting. Metronidazole is a prodrug, which means it's inactive until it enters the bacteria or protozoa. Once inside, the drug gets reduced by the microorganism's metabolic process, creating a series of reactive compounds. These compounds then wreak havoc on the DNA of the bacteria or protozoa, causing breakages and inhibiting further DNA synthesis. The result? The bacteria or protozoa can't reproduce and eventually dies off. Pretty neat, right? But what about the pharmacological effect of metronidazole? Well, the drug's antibacterial and antiprotozoal actions help to eliminate the harmful microorganisms causing the infection. This allows the body's immune system to regain control and start the healing process. However, like any potent warrior, metronidazole isn't without its drawbacks. It can cause some side effects, including nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and loss of appetite. Some people may also experience a metallic taste in their mouth or dark-colored urine. In rare cases, metronidazole may cause more serious side effects like seizures, numbness, or tingling in the hands or feet. Always report any unusual symptoms to a healthcare professional. Finally, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions. Metronidazole can interact with certain types of medications, including blood thinners and alcohol. When combined with alcohol, metronidazole can cause a severe reaction including flushing, headache, nausea, vomiting, and rapid heart rate. So it's definitely a good idea to avoid alcohol while taking this medication. In summary, metronidazole is a powerful antibiotic and antiprotozole drug. It works by entering harmful bacteria or protozoa, disrupting their DNA, and preventing them from reproducing. While it can cause some side effects, it's generally well tolerated and plays a crucial role in treating a variety of infections. We've come to the end of our journey through the pharmacology of metronidazole. By now, you should have a solid understanding of how this drug works, its effects, potential side effects, and interactions. Remember, it's always important to take medications as directed by a healthcare professional and to report any unusual side effects. Before we wrap up, if you found this content helpful, do subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos. Keep exploring, keep learning, and until next time, take care.